rewards of humility we're about to pray please sit down and write this down rewards of humility hmm. proverbs chapter 22 and verse 4 please never forget this scripture can we read it together proverbs 22 and verse 4 are you ready one to read by humility and the fear of the lord are riches and honor and life one more time by humility and the fear of the lord are riches and honor are you seeing that riches is not the same as honor you can have riches and not have honor you can have riches and honor and not have life there is a relationship between untimely death and pride there is a relationship between humility and longevity then we go to verse 10 James 4 but he giveth more grace one of the blessings there wherefore he saith, God resisted the proud but giveth grace unto the humble please go to verse 10 humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord koinonia and he shall lift you up that's where the secret is koinonia humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up Apostle Joshua Selman humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up man of God businessman politician whoever and wherever humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and there is a reward for it he will lift you so when you see a people who you never see their end they have mastered this ladder this lift called humility what is humility it is not denying what God has done in your life it is not denying the blessing quickly intentionally continually as the basis that when it's all said and done more than your intellect more than your business acumen more than your political connections more than anointing he is the doer the doer of every good thing that's humility so you can stand before your estates you can stand before all of your credentials and all, all of that you can stand before the prosperity the bank accounts carrying the billions world over wonderful they are only profitable when you stand and say lord it is not unto these things but unto you i lift my hands and i lift my voice and i will let the world know that it is because of you that these things are before me we are not ashamed to tell the world today world over that jesus is the reason for what we call koinonia today joshua selman is nothing without him koinonia is nothing without him it's one thing to have the ability to preach and teach and heal and minister but it's another thing for god to draw people from world over to come and listen and to submit to the grace of god committed to you man of god never get to a point in your life where you become too big to acknowledge jesus thank god for all of these little things here and there the security that help for I, I tell you i have a confession you ask the protocol department and the security people this is my fight with them they are doing their job professionally but if it's up to me i will enter this place you will not know if i have a way of just entering there to carry my bible once it's time i just appear here and preach and disappear i will do it with joy it's just that there are some levels in life no matter what happens there's nothing you can do about it i know that while some of you watch all these things some of you are admiring it and that's what drives you be careful god is warning you now god is warning you now god is warning you now you are laughing but god is serious god is warning you now read yourself from all of these lusts you will be celebrated for sure nations will call you blessed for sure but let them be the one to clap while you point them to jesus forever jesus will remain glorified in my life glorified in this ministry 
and glorified in your life also that when men look at you and say from whence cometh this lifting others are saying there is a casting down what is happening to your business that you are rising in leaps and bounds i just hear you open a new office you don't just laugh and say well say it again no don't say they know tell them you are the doer jesus i acknowledge you and they say please leave those spiritual things what did you do and tell them no 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 i will not leave it this is how it happened i don't know how it happened for others what is the secret to this your peace your children are well behaved everybody's respectful who says because they know me go and ask them how disciplined their father and their mother are Am I wasting your time? Can I tell you this? You've heard me say it. When I had this encounter with the Lord, where he taught me the lifting power of humility, this was what the Lord told me. Son, if you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. This is what God told me. Ah, for men to see you, that's, that's fine. John chapter 3 and verse 30 must be the lesson that everybody takes home today as far as humility is concerned he must increase but i must decrease decrease does not mean diminish decrease does not mean go back no that you exalt him how do you know you are humble when men look at you they remember jesus not you when men look at you they know they see all the miracles they see the signs and the wonders they see god lifting you and all they can say is lord you are a wonder when men look at you and it's only your praises they sing something is wrong with your approach for everything god has done in this life for everything god has done in this ministry truly to him be the glory to him be the glory to him be the honor no man on earth should give glory to himself all the glory listen let me show you what humility does you stand here lord you are the lifter of my heart i give you all the praise and god says you have done this at this level you don't have a car you don't have a bike you are not doing anything and you are acknowledging me let's go higher you don't know that the, the ultimate goal is to take you there once you are here people say my god you are already at this level and the holy spirit to say remember what you did when you were here do it again he's giving and pride will say i'm comfortable i mean now you can see me and some people remain here forever till they find out they're already down here again but some other people stand here and while people are looking at you you are even you are distracted you are not distracted by what they are doing they call you all kinds of names daddy apostle whatever thank god for those things but your attention is with jesus are you ready for this he lifts you to the next level you became a governor you became a senator you became a man of god now he trusted you one branch two branch two branches three branches he now helped you and you say lord even at this point may the nation see you through my life and men look at you and say be honest jerry enjoy this thing enjoy this moment and sometimes you can be distracted and then he calls you back i have other people who need to rise if you want to make this space vacant i will fight you to make it vacant and lift others and you say no no i remember how you brought me and he will still find you in the night rolling and he says you are ready he will move you to another one when he moves you you will not be alone you'll find other people that he moved there too they will now start distracting you let's focus on laughing at those who are down and you tell them i don't know how you got here but me i know how god brought me here 
and I will not be distracted many times when you are up here it looks like there are other people below you let's gossip let's mock let's push them let's fight anybody who wants to come down there are people who will remain here for 30 years until they start going down by the time they are 50 they are back here you say I thought I used to know you here they say condition is a lie the path of the just is as a shining light when your tomorrow becomes greater becomes worse than your yesterday it is pride a man's tomorrow should not be like this no you know people who are walking in humility because you never see them at the last level you saw them you are right here at this point people are already calling you things papa if you are in ministry you are mentoring people everybody they are just blessing you inviting you around the whole world you are in hotels you are having all kinds of cars jeeps you are enjoying everything zero and then one night if god wants to help you he will call you and say my son i'm still waiting for you where we used to meet before don't distract me oh god the spotlight is on me this was what i looked for growing up this was what i wanted people said i would not make it now that i've made it let me stand so that i can savor the moment and he says my son we still have other heights to climb don't stop here but there are others may you be part of them tonight in my life be glorified be glorified in my life be glorified be glorified you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor I just want to say thank you you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor I just want to say thank you while you are busy singing this song and living this song with your life men will open their eyes and find you here you are standing with kings and nations and they say we used to know him ah humility has a lifting power it will shift your background shift your gender shift what men said they can say while you rise they can talk while you are lifted i tell you this the end of a man who is truly humble cannot be predicted by any mortal man on earth there is no prophet there is no apostle whose eye can see as far as a man with humility can go only God can tell the end of a humble man just when you think he has attained that God now lifts him again to another season hear me we're about to pray the Lord brought you to church tonight to show you that there is a secret men do not just rise God is the lifter of men are you ready to pray let me give you one key you have to write this down 